as a 15-year-old trying, starting a new journey in my life to be one of the four students in the Charlotte Mecklenburg school system. To change the course of education in this country was a daunting experience. I never thought that I would face the ob obstacles in my life of being judged based on the color of my skin and not accepted as a human being. I grew up in a segregated society, but ethically, I knew it was immoral. The daughter of a college professor and minister, we were taught as children that we could achieve all odds. Harding High School would be my challenge. Judge McMillan of Charlotte, under much opposition, declared that schools in this community were breaking the law. Led by the late Kelly Alexander to challenge the judge's decision were 20 families in this community. Five children were selected from the applicants that applied, but only four took the brave steps to attempt to change the system. My family was one of them. I was assigned to attend Harding High School, less than three or four blocks from my home. I grew up in a family that ad advocated for excellence, but also believed that all people should be judged by who they were and not by race, ethnicity, gender, religion, and socioeconomic status. I was in awe that I would be denied the opportunity to, to pursue the education that I so desired, but was also entitled to as an American citizen, and face the hatred and bigotry that lay ahead of me. The racial slurs, being spat upon by my peers, ice, rocks, sticks, milk cartons thrown at my back were beyond disbelief. But through all of this, pride illuminated from my face as I carried myself with dignity when met with such hatred and humiliation. I remembered the words of my father that morning. And he said, you can do anything you want to do, and no one can stand in your way. <laughs> 